you, uh, did want to be cremated, right? <laughs> Hi. I'm Dark Minded Sith. Welcome to Let's Play Banjo Tooie, Episode 2. Last time our house was destroyed, our friend ish was killed ish. Dude, you be patient, right? What are you doing to help? Oh boy. Look at this. It's burnt up. Even the trash cans are gone. There's some trash cans there in the first game. They're not even there anymore. Oh my lord, she's gonna pay for this. And she even burnt up the picture I have of my beloved sister. Eh, eh, we'll just take a new one. I mean, I'm sure we'll see her again, right? <laughs> right? And we had a bed, too. There's not even a trace of it. Boy, that was... She really put two years' worth of a grudge into that spell. That's some power, I'll give her that, but... We have even more power. The power of revenge! Sort of. Anyway, dude, shut up! Anyway, let's get this journey rockin' and rollin', shall we? Alright, well, I can't move, what's up? Well, it wouldn't be a Banjo-Kazooie game without helping random people we encounter, right? And look at that, we're like five seconds into the game and it already starts. Why do I want to help you, though? If you're on the barbecue, we were intending to eat you anyway. Eh. Maybe he deserves a second chance. Got a cutscene here. Uh... Oh, Klungo. That's right, Grunty was kind enough to make him stay behind. And this... Continue. Oh, thanks for showing that game. Yeah, you because know, now we totally won't know where Klungo is or where he's going. Wouldn't it be fun for him to take us on with surprise, though? Anyway. Oh, here's Bottle's Old Molehills. So we can learn some basic moves from the previous game. You know, since it's been two years, possibly, and you might not remember any of that. You're gonna see lots of blasts from the past all around here. The wading boots, the running shoes. All those Banjo Kazooie memories are coming back to me. Except for Spiral Mountain, this place is rather different now. This place was once infested with many vegetables that tried to kill us, and now we have these midget Shreks, and things just aren't the same. But, I mean, that's good in a sequel. We wouldn't want it to rehash the previous one too much. This is where Grunny's ugly fat body was. Now she's gone. And we're gonna go after her after we do about 20 things here. <laughs> yeah, so, let's go ahead and get our journey started already. We saw Klungo enter that little cave thing there, but I have quite a bit I want to show off here in Spiral Mountain first. Look at that, the bridge is broken. We cannot use Epona to get across with her jump of grace, but we can fly. That's nice. <laughs> you can also climb up this bridge like a ladder of sorts, but yeah, like, you can go down it like a ladder. What's the fun in that? What am I, a fireman? Yeah, and this bridge is actually broken in the first Banjo-Kazooie game. Well, not like this, but it, um, pieces of it are chunked off if you don't do the, if you don't finish the tutorial stuff. That's to prevent you from going into the Grunny's lair in the first game. Ah, yeah, definitely a blast from the past. Grunny's old lair. Uh, but it appears to be all in ruins. She just, bad memories, she just did not want to, she just wanted to leave this place behind completely. Wait, who on earth was that? Somebody just told us what these were. We've never seen that character before. Who on earth are you? Hmm. There's some uh, feathers back here. Yeah, who on earth are you? Bottles is supposed to tell us all the hints and stuff. You're an imposter. Hey, look who it is. It's Cheeto. He looks either sad or sleepy. What's up, man? Yeah, Cheeto helped us cheat. You know, that thing winners don't ever do, apparently. Oh. Oh no. The majority of his pages are gone. He's pretty sad about that. I guess that's like the equivalent to, I don't know, a person's head being shaved, maybe? 
Oh, sounds pretty painful. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Paige is being torn out. I don't know. Maybe that'd be a, what would that be a, the equivalent to? Like, ripping hairs off of our arms or something? I don't know. So we got a little bit of a side quest in this game with Cheeto as well. His pages are missing and we can go around and collect them. And for every five, we get to cheat. Well, not entirely cheat, but we don't have any yet. So just a little note for later. I'm not going to actually be doing all of those cheats. I'll do a couple of them because some of them I don't really consider cheats. I just consider them upgrades. But the ones that really feel like cheating, I won't do because, well... Where's the challenge in the game? Alright, so let's tour Spiral Mountain a little bit more. Yeah, dude, what are you gonna do, seriously? Alright, a shock jump pad. I remember these. If I could use it. And, what do you know? The first Cheeto page already in. Yeah, you get these little cutscenes a lot in this game where it, like, transfers you to another area and it, it's kind of odd the way it loads it. It kind of looks like the game is freezing or something. Yeah, 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 you already told us this. So, keep your eyes peeled for Cheeto pages. It's gonna be a little collectible in this game. Rare loves their collectathons, and this game is no exception to that. We're gonna be collecting all kinds of things. Yeah, look at that, she even broke this little bridge. This bridge that no one need, probably even needed in the first place. Now, I could casually just move on to the next area, but... I wanna show a couple of areas that we're gonna need to visit later. Just to at least put them in in our minds. Up there, little gate thing. Can't quite access that yet. Just make a note of it in your handy dandy notebooks. Alright, the next area I want to show is... When you played Banjo-Tooie for the first time, if you're a, a Banjo-Kazooie veteran, and you saw the flight pad, one of your first things might have been, Hey, maybe I can fly up to Grunny's Lair. To the top part. No, not quite. I didn't realize until now, like, how ridiculously tall the hat part of that is. It's like not even a proper uh, portrayal of how of what she looks like. But also, like me, you probably questioned this waterfall area. And yep, we actually have access to it in this game, unlike the first game. Can't really do anything in here, but I just want to show it off, just to put it in the backs of our minds. Behind the waterfall. And we got a little gate area, and... Something's back here. What on earth is that? Well, it's got the traditional Banjo-Kazooie eyeballs. Everything in this game has to have those little eyeballs. In some way. It's a waterfall. Well, something's gotta be back there. It's just tradition. In fact, if I was a game developer, I'd probably do a joke about that. I'd probably put a waterfall in the game and just... You go back there and there's just a sign that says like, Yeah, I thought there was gonna be something here, didn't you? I don't know. I'd probably just be a big troll if I was a video game designer. So that about does it for Spiral Mountain. Can't really do very much here, but we at least have some objectives. And so one thing I really like in this game is that Spiral Mountain's given a lot more use, unlike the first game, where after you get the six extra honeycomb pieces, there's almost like no reason to ever go back to Spiral Mountain ever again, except to do the stupid bottles puzzles in your house. But because of crap about all that. So let's move on to New Frontiers. This is an area we've never been to. The Digger Tunnel. Something's pounding away. And there's tracks. So it looks like we'll be... Looks like Grunty and her sisters were not smart enough to hide their trail. We can now see where they're going. Let's see what Klungo wants. It's a minion with a mission. Will that mission succeed or fail? Yeah. Well, I mean, what do you care, man? She never appreciated you. Looks like Klungo's gonna finally have his moment to shine. He didn't really get to do anything in the first game. He just kind of stood around. But that's what a lot of the characters do in these games. They just kind of stand around. They always have some trouble, like, My doll is missing! And they don't really make any effort to do anything about it. Uh, he's got a potion. Oh, he ate glass. Look at that. Oh, he gets big and mighty. Oh, wow. Not much to this. Just bam, hit him or peck him or whatever you want to do. Oh, he's got a magic shield. Klungo's come prepared. 
He knew he'd finally get his time to shine, and he was not going to waste the potential. But there's not much to him. Just hit him like that every time. The interesting thing about this battle is that I don't want to spoil too much yet. But you'll notice in my battle, Klungo's strategy is to get really big, and I hit him and shrink him again. If you're playing this game, your battle might be a little different. There's only about a 33% chance you'll have the same battle that I just had. That's about as much as I'll say for now. Look at that, I'm behind you. You're not even talking to me directly. Can't make eye contact with me? Well, that is pretty difficult. I struggle with that myself. Yeah, let's have a truce, man. You seem like a good guy. I feel bad for that eyeball of his. Does that affect his vision at all? Well, he didn't do so well in the fight, so possibly. Can she even hear you? She's got pretty... P I can't even think of what her ears are like at the top of my head. Who are you? And where are you coming from? Anyway. Sometimes I can't... F part of my brain is like, did I come from this way or the other way? I can't even remember for some reason. When you first play this game, your instinct might be to just follow these tracks. You know, because this is obviously the tracks of the drill that the sisters were driving. But after a while, you end up just kind of forgetting about them. At least that's that's what it was like when I first played the game. My instinct was to follow their trail. And that's what we're going to be doing. You'll end up just kind of doing that naturally anyway, so... Now we move on to a new area, and we have... Jinjo Village, Isle of Hacks. Ah, the Jinjos. Yeah, remember them? Those bird characters that just we freed by walking through them. Still don't really know how that was freeing them, but I guess it gave them the confidence that we were there or something. This poor race of guys. You always gotta have the Goomba bad guys. The puny ones that are just very committed. You see them all throughout the game, but they just never can do anything to you. They're tenacious, though. We'll give them that. Got a little area up there. Can't quite do anything there. Yeah. If you listen, you'll notice Banjo's voice is a little different. He, like, hit puberty or something in this game. He was a little cutesy in the first game. This one is all... and stuff. You might be thinking, where are you going, Sith? I'm just gonna show something right quick, actually. If you go out here, you'll notice... Look at that, we're right back in Spiral Mountain. Yeah, so after you complete that Klungo fight, it skips past this every time. The little digger area we were in, so... You don't have to go through the digger tunnel every time to access here. I guess they got rid of that because there's nothing there anymore, so there's no reason to have to walk through it. Ah, what's this thingy here? You again! One of your silos. Alright, so this is gonna function as the... sort of cauldrons in... Grunny's Lair, where they're going to allow us to conveniently get all around the overworld. Got all kinds of multicolored houses. I'll go ahead and go in one, just to see what it's like. Sorry if none of this is all that interesting, but... Hmm. How are people able to, like, telepathically talk to us like this? Oh, okay. Looks like we got a king-like Jinjo guy. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad crib yourself. And you got some health surrounding it. This little pterodactyl guard guy thing. Doesn't appear to be anybody here. It's a vacant house. And all their furniture's gone, if they had any. So yeah, it appears that we have a little bit of a Jinjo side quest in this game as well. Maybe it'll have a little catch. Oh no, this house is like completely ruined. What happened here? And these are signs. You can read them, get information. Question mark. What does it say? No. Okay, look, we didn't even know who they were. Okay, just... Anyway. Yeah, there's no sense going in all these houses and showing them all off, because they're pretty much the same. They're just all empty at this point. So where are the Jinjos? Where have they gone? Well, let's activate another side quest, because our main quest is not very much important. 
Um, I'm trying to decide which place I should go first, because the dialogue and stuff can be a little different. Bottle's house. Ah, so this is where he lives. Hmm. I don't want to quite go in there yet. Uh, the king... The king guy showed us his palace. Let's check it out. Get a little information about the... Jinjos and see what's up.